Hey, what's going on everybody? Shoe tube, so to speak. It's Jamin, and today I got a different kind of video. But before we get started on the video, uh, we are right at 300 subs, man, and it feels great. Thank you all to everyone that supported the channel up until this point. Much love to all of y'all, man. Much love. Started out this thing, didn't didn't you know think that that it would do anything to be honest with you, and now we're we're, we're getting close to 300. For, all, for everybody that's new, I appreciate you guys subscribing as well. Welcome to the community, man. We got a great community over here. We love to check out shoes, whether they're new shoes, old shoes, whatever shoes. We also like uh, men's fragrances. We like to smell good. We like to look good. And uh, I'm just a typical person, man, you know, doing a YouTube video, something that started out kind of as, jo as a joke uh, that I was doing with my kids. And I kind of like it, man. So we're just going to keep it going. Hey, if you enjoyed today's content, hit that thumbs up button. It tells me that you enjoyed it. And uh, if you haven't already and you want to become part of the community and support the channel, that subscribe button's right down below. If you just click it, turn on that notification bell, you'll get notified whenever I release a video. One thing I will say, when we get to 300, we will celebrate like we did with 200. Uh, on the 300 subs video, if you comment down below on that video, once we have it, uh, you will be entered into the 1,000 sub giveaway. Once we hit 1,000 subs, I'll be giving away either a pair of shoes or $170 cash straight to your cash app, man. Straight to it. That's my word, and that's going to happen. So anyway, let's get into the video today. I wanted to do something. We've got some shoes coming in, by the way. I did hit on a sneakers app on a couple of pair of shoes, and I also got ordered a pair of shoes from Europe that I think you guys are going to really like. I really uh, like them. But... Until then, I want to bring a video on something that I didn't do previously on some shoes that I picked up. And these are, number one, a big ass box. Okay, so this box is huge compared to a regular Nike box. But you have this orange kind of creamsicle color going around both of these guys right here. Okay, and nothing else here on this side of the box right here. You don't have anything. So kind of just a plain box outside of it being super large and what shoe is it you do have nike right there embossed but this is the nike air fear of god one now you see the retail is 190 this colorway is light bone black and sale size 11 and a half for the toe this box here okay this is the same shoe retail 190 except this colorway is black black fossil so we have a black black fossil and we have a light bone black cell now these shoes came out in 2019 let me tell you the reason why i'm selecting to, to take a look at these shoes today is not only because it's perfect time of year to wear them but also because some of you may know this and some of you may not but jerry lorenzo who is the ceo and, and founder of fear of god has left nike left nike earlier this year and has joined adidas so these shoes are hovering around $250 to $300 on the resale market right now. If you want to go ahead and pick up a pair from StockX, I went out and did the research on it. I don't think that's that bad of a price considering retail was $190. You're looking at about $60 to $70 uh, over retail, but then you got to pay your shipping fees and stuff like that. Uh, so it may raise it a little bit. But look, let's get into the video. Let me show you the shoes real quick. So here's the black pair, okay? Sorry for the thud. My microphone's right beside it. Uh, didn't mean to do that. But here's the black pair that you guys saw with the cell midsole. I really like this pair a lot. Let's take a look at the, the outsole of it. You guys can see I've been wearing this shoe. But you do have that clear, that translucent, you know, strip right there that goes into your air bubble right there for the uh, with the Nike logo. Pretty neat. Standard traction. This is a, des a designer shoe, right? So I'll tell you right now, you do get designer shoe quality. I like how they have this air unit back here in the back. It uh, looks really neat the way they've got it cut out. Very kind of futuristic in the design. You have the Air 180, Fear of God. Now, I will say again, this Air 180, this shoe is Jerry Lorenzo mimicked this shoe after the Air Raid. Okay, so you guys have probably seen the Air Raid sitting in your local malls. It's a classic shoe from Nike that has the, the Velcro straps like this. But... Lorenzo and Fear of God took it a took it to a next level with this shoe right here. They uh you know they made it classy. You got that Nike Air on the back right there on the midsole, going to the inside the medial. 
you just you don't have that writing right there but you do have that air bubble again in that kind of designer fashion your your toe box right here you do have a very nice suede nubuck material right here it is a nice leather nice quality you have a kind of a cloth canvas with some intricate stitching right there going around the toe box as well and then you have these rope laces that go up to the top okay you have your velcro velcro straps right here now one thing that you'll notice on this shoe when we do the comparison in a moment to the to the bone colorway all of this is the same material running up here every bit of it it's all that nice suede new buck material okay the whole shoe get into your straps right here your velcro straps and i like wearing these loose so you can loosen these guys up you know what i'm saying and flap them back you got the rope lace and you do have a lace lock right here air fear of god okay right there and then for your tongue you don't have anything this is that uh kind of a nylon material for the tongue but on the inside right here i think this is pretty neat you have a uh air fear of god logo almost like a jordan 4 how it says air jordan to jordan 5 this says air fear of god and then your insole down there also has the air fear of god branding right down in there okay so again this shoe is comfortable believe it or not to me uh it's comfortable and uh you know this is for a designer shoe it's cool you know what i'm saying and again really wanted to bring it to y'all and, and show it to y'all because you can get this shoe for just a little over retail right now and if you like them i would suggest going and buy they look great with jeans y'all this is a great fall shoe, winter shoe, just because of the cut. It's a mid. I don't really care for the fear of God highs, uh, and, and they don't they don't have the air raid. They don't have the Velcro straps either. Oh, one more thing I wanted to show y'all too. These did come with a spare set of laces, white laces. How do y'all think those would look in there? I think they'd look great. I haven't swapped them out before, but I definitely think they would pop. They would add a little bit more of a pop to this otherwise solid black cream sail colored shoe, right? So anyway, there's that. Now let's look at the bone colorway. Y'all let me know which one you like better. Here's the bone right here. And I'll show you a couple of differences with these guys too. So the bone colorway, you have the, you know, the basic midsole again, there's that air unit in there. You can kind of see, yeah, you can see through it right there. So there's your air unit, almost like an Air Max, right? These right here are dead stock. I haven't worn the light bone colorway yet. I mainly rock my blacks, but I need to break these guys out for sure. Again, I don't know if I said this earlier in the video, but this is a shoe from 2019. I want to say these came out in like April or May of 2019. Y'all fact check me on that one. But uh, so this is a, you know, three year old shoe. Is that 2019, 2020? Well, two and a half, three years old, whatever. Uh, but let's look at the differences on this one. Of course, from the start, you got the colorway. This is a. They call it light bone. I would call it more of a, well, I think they nailed it. It is a light bone. I was about to say sail, but this isn't really sail. Maybe the, the midsole is. You have that same writing there on your midsole. There's that Nike Air on the back. But here's the difference in between the two shoes. Let me, these do come with another spare set of laces, which they almost look exactly the same color. I don't know the point in that. I would think that if they they put black laces with these, because black would kind of set these guys off if you put black in here. Just my opinion. But uh, let's do a quick comparison. So let me set this shoe over here, and let's bring this guy back down, and let's take a look real quick. So here's what I mean by the material. So right here on the toe box, again, you have that new buck suede, and it's the new buck suede all the way around the shoe. But on this shoe, you have the new buck suede right here, okay, and that, and that light bone. You do have that uh, cloth material on the toe box again with that stitching. I like the way they did the stitching on that shoe too. That looks pretty good. If you're looking at it from top down, right? That's what you're gonna be seeing. So I really like the way this looks right here. I like all the stitching right here as well. Look at that, look at that. That looks really good. But you see this is all new buck. You see that suede, right? A new buck suede, short hair. But then you get here and this is actually leather. So I don't know if you guys are picking that up, but this is a very premium soft leather right here. Whereas in that's the new buck still, you can actually see it's buttery, buttery leather right there. And that goes all the way around the back. You can see it there. 
and then on the inside i mean just look at that leather right there y'all it's very nice and it's very very soft to the touch so overall the quality on this shoe is pretty pretty amazing um, for 190 retail i mean you can't go wrong with it i actually hit on both of these on the uh, sneakers app back in the day a few years ago when they came out that was before i had my youtube channel so i didn't really do any videos on these but i've just figured while i'm waiting on my shoes to come in i've got three shoes coming in uh you know that i would i would put this out there for you guys in case y'all want to go out there on StockX or goat and grab you a pair because again great shoe for the fall time these uh these look outstanding in my opinion and go great with some blue jeans man with some denim you know what i mean or you could rock these guys maybe with some olive khakis or something like that some olive cargoes i think they would look great so yeah, that's it, man. That's today's video. Like I said, I got some new shoes coming in tomorrow that we will be doing some unboxings on. But until then, man, it's Jamin. If you enjoyed today's content, again, leave me that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you want to become part of the community, hit that subscribe button down there. It's free to do. It's optional. It's up to you. But I'd love to have you join the channel. Until next time, man, it's Jamin. I'm signing out. Y'all take care. Peace.